Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So let's go ahead and jump into the makeup tutorial. So of course, I'm just gonna start out with my brows and for that I'm using the Anastasia Brow Powder. This stuff is incredible, one of my favorite powders ever. So I don't want my brows to be too harsh today. So I just went in and defined them a little bit and made them a little longer. But nothing too dramatic. And then I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This one is incredible. I am obsessed with the Shape Tape. So with this, I'm just going to define my brows underneath to make them a little bit cleaner, just to cover those little bum fluff hairs that sit underneath my eyebrows. Now it's time for the eyeshadow. So I'm taking this Smashbox eyeshadow palette and I'm picking up a medium cool tone brown and just popping this straight in the crease with a really big fluffy brush from outer corner to inner corner. You guys know the drill. So I'm also gonna take a smaller blending brush and blend out the edges so there's no harsh lines at all. And then we're gonna go in with a warmer brown and I'm just gonna deepen up the crease a little bit. So just pack it on the outer half and then bring it in the crease as well, but I'm not gonna take it too high. So the last color I'm gonna take is this nice rich chocolate brown and again this is going in the same spot as that last color to really deepen it up and add some definition these colors oh my god so pigmented I love this palette okay so let's go in and cut the crease so I'm using that same tape shape concealer on a really small brush and I'm gonna cut that crease honey so be really careful with this because you don't want to mess it up you want the line to be as neat as you possibly can make it this takes a little bit but it's so worth it because cut creases are stunning so just filling in the inner half of my eye with concealer and then I'm going in with this white matte shade from the same palette and I'm just gonna pack that right over the top and don't forget to go in and blend the two colors together so there's a nice gradient so for that I just took this little fluffy brush and gently brushed it over with the brown color oh yeah Next up is to add some glitter glue. This one is from Too Faced. This one's really, really good. So I'm just gonna pack a little bit right in the middle of my eyelid and then I'm gonna take some glitter. This one's from Glitter Injections. It's just like silvery, goldy flakes. Really pretty. Just, oh my God, please don't get them in your eyeball. Seriously, I don't know if that's um, safe for your eyes. Actually, no, I know it's not safe for your eyes because if you get it in your eye, you can be blind. I'm just gonna pack this right in the middle and then we can move on to the face. So I'm using the Vitamin and Rich Face Base by Bobbi Brown. This just really hydrates my skin and it allows the foundation to blend really smoothly on top. So I love this step. Next, I'm gonna use the, oh, what's it? Girl on, girl on. I'm not sure what this is, but it has gold flakes in it. It is a primer, so I was really excited to try this. It was pretty expensive and I really did like it. It smelled amazing. It smelled so expensive, but it did leave little gold flakes on my face. Like, of course, if there's gold flakes in there, they're gonna leave them on your face. So I had to flick it off. I'm like, what? What's the point? Anyways, let's move on to foundation. I'm taking this one from Clinique because my friend recommended it. The weird thing about it is like not much comes off onto the little applicator. It does remind me of the tape shape applicator though. It's like really big. I kind of like it. Dip it in, pop it on your face. You're ready to go. So just blending that in with my Kabuki brush from Zoeva. This is amazing for blending out foundation on the face. So I was really happy with the coverage on this foundation. It was really nice. I like the color of it. I will leave all of the color shades, blah, 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 down below if you need any of that information. So Let's move on to the concealer. So I'm just going to paint this under my eyes in an upside down triangle just to get rid of any discoloration that we may have under there and to brighten it up as well to make myself look really awake and happy. I'm also going to put that down the center of my face to brighten that area up as well so we can really proportion out what's going on. I don't want my face to look flat at all. So I do clean up the edges of my eyeshadow as well with a beauty blender. I just lightly pat over the edges so it's not like coming down too more, you know what I mean? Okay, so let's move on to the translucent powder. I am using, of course, the same one from Laura Mercier. I'm just gonna pack, pack, pack that down right there, honey. Why am I so hypo? Oh my God. Okay, so let's move on to powder. I'm using this one from Benefit. This is the Hello Flawless. I literally use this in every video. I love it so much. It just adds so much coverage and it makes the face completely matte. Like what more could you want? 
Now just going back in with that chocolate brown shade and I'm just gonna swipe that from outer corner to inner corner on a little pencil brush to proportion out the eyeshadow. Then to match it up with the top lid, I'm gonna take that glitter again and just pack a little bit right in the middle of my lower lash line. I think it looks so cute. So now for mascara, I'm taking this one from The Balm. This has been my favorite mascara for so long now and I need to buy a new one because it's out, but it's really wet so it makes the lashes really dramatic and it's absolutely stunning. So now for the lashes, I'm taking these ones from Tarte. They were a little bit hard to put on because the band is so stiff, so make sure you do like curve it around so, you know, it goes on properly. But anyways, let's move on to contouring. I'm taking this one from Sleek and I'm just gonna pop this right underneath my cheekbones to carve them out a little bit. I naturally do have very defined cheekbones so I can't go too crazy with this, otherwise it looks super muddy really quickly. So I'm also gonna contour my nose as well. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just chucking some dark shades down the side of my nose, hoping it would look different. I don't know, just experimenting a little bit. So now let's move on to bronzer. This one's from MAC. It's actually a different shade to my MAC Give Me Sun. I just thought, hey, I need to try something different because I always use that one. So this one is really, really nice. It's not as orange as Give Me Sun and I kind of like it. So on my cheekbones, jawbone, and also around my temples as well, so we can really Give that sun, no, what am I trying to say? Give my face a sun kiss glow. Now it's time for the blush. I'm taking this one from Tarte. It's a really pretty, like everyday dusty rosy color. So with the same bronzing brush, I'm just gonna pop this on the apples of my cheeks, blend it back just for a nice hint of color to the cheeks to make it look nice and healthy. And then I'm gonna take that same translucent powder and just bake underneath my contour to make it nice and sharp and define. I love this part, it's so satisfying to watch. Let's move on to highlights. So I'm using this one from Sleek and I'm just blinding you guys. Honestly, look at that. Absolutely stunning. I'm using my favorite highlighter brush from Anastasia. I think it's the A23. Like honestly, that's how good I am. I have the worst memory, but I know this brush because it's amazing. So I'm just gonna get rid of that bakage under there and would you look at that, stunning. So now let's move on to the lips. I'm using this Too Faced Perfect Lips Lip Liner and I'm just gonna you know, go into my lips, make them look bigger, make them look juicier, just to find them a little bit. Then for the lipstick, I'm taking this one from Rimmel London. It is a beautiful nude shade. This honestly goes with any makeup look that you will ever do. This one's really creamy and pigmented and it lasts a pretty long time as well. So I just thought I would show you a nude option because not everyone likes to do a really intense dark lip and nudes look beautiful all the time. So you can never lose here. Make sure you guys let me know down in the comments below if you like the nude better or if you like the lip color that I'm about to share with you. So this one is from The Balm. I'm just of course gonna go in and fill my lips in and you guys can be the judge. What's cuter? Anyways, there we have the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a, a massive thumbs up because it helps me out so much. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you. This is my last Valentine's Day look, so I really hope you guys like it. And I will see you very soon. Goodbye.